Hi guys, welcome to Ingenious YT. Are you not really excited about how to learn DevOps a starter? How can we start DevOps project as soon as possible? So quickly, yes, I have a solution on that. My name is Abhishek Matre and today in this small video, we'll learn about how quickly we can start with DevOps. So Microsoft have provided you the good full-fledged complete package of the DevOps pipeline, either it is build pipeline, release pipeline, test plan, and so many other things. So let's get started with this. For DevOps starter kit, you have to go to login into uh, Azure portal. I have already logged in. So I'll go to create a resource. I'll select DevOps, click on DevOps starter. Now, let us discuss about what we are going to do now we are going to create a project with the devops starter which will provision the azure resources for us the uh, git uh, repository along with application insight it will create a build pipeline it will create a release pipeline it will add the trigger automatically so that our whatever we, we our code is built has to be deployed as is on the uh, on the azure web application so everything is ready-made package that is completely up to you do you wanted to really customize it or you wanted to run as is okay i do not have any handy code so i will allow this portal this service to create a code for me because it's a demonstration so i'll go with the ready-made code okay so first of all we need to understand one thing there are two different options to build create a build or release pipeline number one do you wanted to use the azure devops which is vsts on azure workflow uh, or you wanted to use the github workflow so my op first option for this demonstration is vsts on azure workflow so i am going to create the language as dotnet although you can opt of any language of your choice click on next sorry uh, I need to opt for here is an option uh, setting up devops starter with github change setting so because my option is to go with azure devops done dot net and then next and if you have noticed one thing uh, i'm using the default code settings but otherwise you can bring your own code here so i mean it's up to you next here are various options of kind of framework you are or you wanted to use either you wanted to opt asp.net framework application or maybe the code application any iot application or do you wanted to attach any uh, specific database along with this code so i'm going with the simple sample which uh, i can go with asp.net core click on next hosting services are very many uh, I'll go with the uh, uh, probably Windows web app click on next and you will get you will be asked some some of the questions because you are going to create a new project new build a pipeline new release pipeline everything so it will this particular portal will ask you some details if you uh, once you enter the details it will create a new project in your uh, Azure VSTS portal I am giving the project name is demo demo for DevOps like this and my web app name would automatically be taken as the same name if it is available it would yes it is available so finally the deployment would happen on the Azure web application with this name demo for DevOps dot Azure website dot net so what did you understand here i mean when i'm saying complete package means it is it is it will be creating a build pipeline release pipeline some test forms uh, test application test application and uh, uh, in fact uh, i would say it would create a web application for you so that your application could be hosted there right if you wanted to set some additional setting click on additional setting 
I will get some other information like do you wanted to create a new organization? I don't really wanted to do this and if you wanted to create the Azure resource or what would be the Azure resource group name is if you wanted to use the you know ready made one you can go and write it here fine you can also choose your location for application inside your uh, location for Azure DevOps project is the South Central US and the application inside uh, location would remain same you may change it it's up to you okay next so the key will I will discuss about some the benefits of uh, Azure DevOps starter kit is number one it is running with a new app and full DevOps pipeline as I said previously it supports a many number of code base like .NET, Java, PHP, Node.js, Python, and others. You can even start with your own code, your own application. For, for this demonstration, I am using the ready-made code. I am not writing any code for, for this particular demo. So it has the built-in application insight integration for instant analytics and actionable insights. You can get the details of where, uh, if the application is Going successful having some issues like this it also provides the cloud powered CICD pipeline complete CICD pipeline uh, using Azure pipeline Azure repo right okay so deployment is in progress let it be finished it may take a couple of seconds so probably I'll be back after this cool my deployment is successfully completed let me click on go to resource it will navigate me to devops project now and here is the complete pipeline it has created for me automatically you remember i have not done anything i have not even created the devops project going into dev dot uh, dev dot com it means azure devops i'm doing everything from here right you see it has generated code for me with using git repository there is a branch called master and there is a first commit it has happened in the build if you see the current status is in progress and after that it would be it would go for the deployment let's go to azure portal and let me refresh this currently my organization was is empty but now you see one application demo for DevOps which we have created through Azure portal is has been created if you click on this and you go to repo you see the code has come along with the ARM template additionally so I have not done anything from here. Everything was created automatically by DevOps starter kit. And if we go to pipeline, my current pipeline status is in progress. So let's see how it is behaving. You see the pipeline is running currently. Let me click on this. And my first commit it's currently in running stage and the build is happening build is successful right go back my build is successful let's see to uh, the release pipeline now my release pipeline is automatically been created let click on this I received a message my build is successful and you see the release is in progress now uh, get back to uh, the build pipeline if you'll see in build pipeline you can go here and look at edit so it's loading the complete uh, build pipeline and the tasks you see various numbers of tasks have been created in background that is up to us how do we wanted to manage this build do we really wanted to utilize the all the tasks 
or maybe we can escape if we do not want any particular task to be run which is not really required you can just remove it from here and the next build or onwards it would be skipped completely because uh, you see uh, in the code we have seen one arm template folder itself so because the tasks were created against creating the arm template so that is why that folder was there you can even customize everything as per your choice just because of this demonstration i am not touching anything i am going with the default settings going to release let's see what is the current result of the status is currently in uh, progress let me click on this and we can check the progress how it is happening so deployment is in progress currently build agent is working we can view the work log where the uh, it is currently in azure development deployment create azure app service stage right it may take couple of minutes to maybe one or two minutes to complete the complete jobs like from initialization jobs to uh, download artifacts and till finishing the deployment and the test creation of the test assemblies let this be finished i'll be back soon okay meantime build is happening we can discuss about the pricing of a Azure DevOps service. So I have opened this portal where the pricing is clearly mentioned. Currently for individual service, which I am using actually, one free Microsoft hosted CICD build and one free self-hosted CICD is absolutely free. But remember, we have one Microsoft hosted job for up to 1800 minutes per month. For CICD and one host self hosted job for unlimited minutes per month. So, currently, because I am using the ready made template and uh, going with the default options, so I am internally using Microsoft hosted CICD where I am not managing anything, everything is being managed by Microsoft environment itself. Another thing is $1.40 per extra Microsoft hosted CICD parallel jobs. If you are aware about parallel jobs. If you need really, you can buy out Azure Artifacts. Two giga space is available for free. After that, you will be charged dollar two per gigabyte. If you are actually not an individual and working in a group, so you can go with the basic plan and uh, some user licensing where you will have to bear some cost, like starting from a dollar six per user month or maybe fifty two dollar per user month based on your consumption and parallel jobs one hosted parallel job is already available for certain time uh, for uh, unlimited minutes indeed but if you need more parallel jobs so you have to buy it out and if you go down the same thing is absolutely mentioned here uh, let me go back and see what's the current status my build is still running uh, release is still running and uh, my various tasks have passed Tell Visual Studio Test Platform Installer. What else is left? Test assemblies. Ah, bingo. The all things have been successfully completed. And let's see. Let me refresh it first. Everything is fine. Let me go back to my portal. Here, build code is successfully committed. Build is successfully. Uh, worked and the deployment has successfully done what else to, to see how can see i'm the result of entire pipeline i can go to this endpoint where the application is really being hosted this is the application service in which the code has been deployed right let me click on this and let's see if it works fantastic it is working perfectly my asp.net core application has been successfully hosted deployed through the automated build pipeline release pipeline test artifacts everything so that's it for this demonstration and uh, before closing this i would say you can even customize your complete 
build, release, test, everything what you wanted to do through your Azure DevOps portal. You, you have your code ready and you can make any changes in your code and in, in um, the build pipeline and the release pipeline. Thank you very much for watching this. If you have any questions, you can come to me any moment. Thank you so much.